Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Facebook Live. Um, thank you for joining us on Amazon Live, too, as well. Uh, you can also watch us on uh, later. You, if you missed this broadcast or missed part of this broadcast, you can watch it on Amazon Live, on, uh, on Clean Machine Fit, or on YouTube at Clean Machine Online. Thanks in advance for any likes, follows, and subscribes. We're going to be bringing you great information as we do every week based on the research and the science, based on cutting edge ingredients, and based on information that we learn along the way to keep you updated on the best in nutrition and best in health available. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Jeff Palmer. I'm the CEO and founder of Clean Machine. It's a plant-based fitness nutrition company. This video is for informational purposes only and is not intended to treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Well, let's jump right into this topic because it's a eye-opener. <laughs> so the title of this is Fish and Algae Oil Contain Zero Essential Fats. Now, that's actually a scientific fact. That's just basically the truth. And, and you don't have to take my word for it. Just simply Google it, right? What are the two essential fatty acids for humans? What is it that humans require, meaning are essential? We have to get them from the diet because our body cannot make its own. So that's what essential is. Just like when, you know, first I became vegan 36 years ago. <laughs> Uh, people would ask me, and it's still the number one question I get, where do you get your protein, right? Well, essential fatty, uh, essential amino acids are what make up all proteins, right? So all the proteins actually originate in plants because plants actually make the essential amino acids. Remember, essential meaning human beings and many animals have to get them from our diet. We have to consume them because we can't make them from inside our body. Now, the same thing is true with essential fatty acids. Instead of essential amino acids, which make up proteins, essential fatty acids play a role in our overall health too. And they are essential for us. We need them. We will perish without these essential nutrients, right? Just like we can't go without protein, we can't go without essential fats either. So these essential amino acids mean we have to get them from outside of our body. We can't make them. No animal can make essential amino acids. Now, some bacteria can do so, but everything that we consume, whether it's from an animal or from a plant, all originated in plants because plants are the ones that make all essential fatty acids and all essential amino acids. So this is this is the truth. This is biology 101. I am not telling you anything that is groundbreaking because this is understood. This is every scientist knows this. Every researcher, every doctor should know this. But it's so weird that, you know, when I hear somebody say, oh, I take omega-3s, and they said, oh, well, how much EPA and DHA? So EPA and DHA are non-essential fatty acids. That's because our body can actually make its own EPA and DHA. Look, I've been vegan for 36 years and I have never taken a preformed EPA or DHA. That is made outside of my body. Preformed means it's preformed outside the body instead of being endogenously or inside the body formed. So our body has the capability to make EPA and DHA. It does it all the time, every day. As a matter of fact, from the foods we eat, so it takes us uh, the essential fatty acid and converts it through enzymes called elongase and desaturase and extends these into longer chain fatty acids, which form EPA and DHA. Actually, there are six forms of omega-3. Most people just think of EPA and DHA, but that's only two. There are six forms, but there is only one of those forms, ALA, SDA, ETA, then EPA, DPA, then DHA. And that's the conversion chain. It goes from ALA at the top, that can make all of the rest of the five omega-3 forms. 
It can make SDA, ETA, EPA, DPA, and DHA. So now you have all six forms, but they all can be made from one form of essential fatty acids. There is only one form of essential fatty acid omega-3, one. There's one form of essential a fatty acid that is omega-6, and that is LA. <laughs> LA. That is what can form arachidonic acid and all the other forms of omega-6s that our body needs, whereas ALA can form SDA, ETA, EPA, DPA, and DHA can form all of the rest of the forms inside our body. So there is absolutely zero need, none, nil, no need to ever take an externally formed EPA or DHA. There is none. There is no biological need for humans to consume EPA and DPA in its preformed state. None. There is no requirement. And any good nutritionist will tell you exactly the same because it's the truth. There is only one essential fatty acid that our body cannot make, and that's ALA. ALA is made by plants. And so plants make the only essential fatty acid omega-3 that there is. So it's so weird that we go around talking like EPA and DHA are important. They're not. Our body makes its own from the essential fatty acid, ALA, that it needs. It converts it in real time in both in the bloodstream, some, a little bit of conversion there, but most of that conversion takes place actually in the tissues. So the body takes ALA and takes it into the bloodstream, may convert a little bit of it, but what it wants to do is keep it in that ALA state. Because remember when it's an ALA, it goes from ALA, STA, ETA, and EPA. I'm gonna put the conversion on the screen for those of you who are watching on uh, YouTube or Facebook but I'll explain it to you for those watching on Amazon. So it goes ALA, SDA, ETA, then DPA, then uh, e <laughs> EPA, DPA, and DHA. So DHA is at the very bottom. It's at the very bottom for a good reason, because we can actually get too much of it and it causes disruptions. It causes all the rest of the conversion rates to start to back up in the system. And there's some studies that suggest this may not be a good thing. We now know most of the research coming out shows that there, we have a very specific ratio of EPA to DHA for different reasons, like for blood pressure we may need higher EPA. For heart conditions, we may need a higher ratio of DHA. For brain health, we may need neither of those, actually lower both and more ALA, SDA, um, and ETA. Actually, there's an amazing study, and I'm going to put this up on the screen for you, that shows you the conversion rates, right? All, all six of the forms, ALA, SDA, and ETA. Those are the top three. When you consume a, a, a EPA or DHA, remember it's number four and number six on the ladder. It's a unidirectional conversion. It only goes one way. So DHA can't back convert to any of the other forms. So once you've got DHA, that's all you get. You get the bottom of the rung of the ladder. There's nothing else it can convert to. You're stuck with DHA. As a matter of fact, if you take preformed DHA too much, it can cause EPA to start piling up because what the body does is actually cut off any conversion of uh, the omega-3s down to DHA because it says, oh, we've already got too much DHA. So it stops the enzymes, it's epigenetics. It basically turns a gene off that stops those elongase and desaturase enzymes from converting more to, to DHA. So our body has this amazing regulatory process to regulate how much of each one of those omegas that your body needs at any specific time for your gender, for your body weight, for your health conditions. It knows exactly what to convert each one of those six to in each forms, exactly the amounts it needs. Instead of you trying to just say, okay, I'm gonna throw some DHA in there. Boom, now you got a bunch of DHA, it freaks the body out. It starts trying to stop the conversion rates. You mess up the whole regulatory process. The same with EPA. When you're taking preformed sources, this is formed outside the body like fish has. 
animal sources are all preformed because remember they've all this animal this fish has already converted them to epa and dha and that's what we're pulling out what you buy when you buy fish oil supplements or algae oil because algae oil is preformed epa and dha just like fish so it's got the same problem you're dictating to your body exactly an amount of epa and dha instead of letting your body convert its own to eat stuff so that it can alter the levels of EPA, DPA, DHA, ETA, SDA. It can alter those by changing the enzymes, turning on and off those enzymes. So it regulates the flow of all this conversion going on. This is an amazing, elaborate, beautiful system that human bodies have to make sure that we start with the only essential fatty acid, which is ALA coming from plants, and then convert it to each one of those five things exactly in the amounts that the body needs for its given time. Right at that moment in time says, well, maybe right now you got an inflammatory state. Okay, well, it needs a little bit more SDA and a little bit more um, EPA, right? Well, if you're taking a supplement that says DHA, well, boom, you messed up the whole regulatory process. This is why I would never take an algae supplement as a vegan. I've been vegan for 36 years, never taken an algae supplement. I always start at the top of the ladder. The top of the ladder is the only essential fatty acid that your body requires. Human body cannot make ALA and only plants make ALA. So what is this telling us? Okay. So these top three uh, omega-3 fatty acids, which are ALA, SDA, and ETA, beautiful study came out that showed those with the higher amounts of ALA, SDA, and ETA, remember they're at the top. So when you take EPA or DHA, they're below this and they can't convert to these top three omega-3 forms, right? It's impossible. They do not back convert. That's a published human study that showed that. So when you take ALA, it can convert to those top three. So are those top three, ALA, SDA, and ETA, are they important? Well, amazing studies show that actually, yes, indeed, they are very important for brain health. They showed the people with the highest of those three, ALA, SDA, and ETA, remember ALA only coming from plants, those had higher intelligence, fluid intelligence. Published human study, you can look it up. Not only that, they preserved more grain, brain, grain, <laughs> brain matter. If I can get my brain to work properly and need a little bit more uh, uh, omega threes, but no, that actually preserved your brain for a lifespan longer. So you actually had physically more brain matter. Now that's extraordinary. Why would you not want this? And you cannot get this by taking preformed EPA and DHA. So it just, it's just so weird to me that when I say, hey, you know, our protein has lentine in it, which has naturally occurring uh, omega-3 fatty acid in its ALA form. And the first question I get is, oh, well, how much EPA and DHA is in it? And I'm like, zero. There's no preformed EPA and DHA in it. You don't want that because then you're dictating to your body the levels of those EPA and DHA omega-3s. That's not what you want. You want the precursor. So your body can do the conversion to exactly what it needs, when it needs it, for each different purpose, for each gender, for each age group, whatever the condition may be, it's going to convert just the exact right amounts because it has a self-regulatory using enzymes to convert each stage. It knows through epigenetic switches, it reads the conditions. Is it pro-inflammatory? Okay, we need some more anti-inflammatory ones. And it makes these changes. It turns on and off these genes that produce these enzymes to control and regulate the flow of all these six omegas, not just EPA and DHA. EPA and DHA was this whole thing created by marketing companies, companies trying to sell you fish oil. And there is zero <laughs> need for outside made fish oil or EPA and DHA in the human body. 36 years, never taken an EPA or DHA supplement ever from fish or algae, because I don't want to dictate to my body. My body knows best what it needs in each form. So this is amazing. 
that there are only two essential fatty acids, ALA, which only comes from plants as an omega-3, and LA, which is an omega-6 that only comes from plants. So I said, okay, what is the best plant source for this? Is it flax? No. Is it chia? No. Is it hemp? No. Sacha Inchi? No. It is ahi flower. Ahi flower is the richest plant source of ALA, SDA, ETA, um, excuse me, and LA, the omega-6 of any plant in the world. That's why it won the next year award for best supplement of the year. That's why it is in my hands. It was why I was the very first person to bring this amazing plant-based omega-3, the richest source of ALA and LA omega-6 of any plant, period. These are the two essential fatty acids that our bodies cannot make. It is essential that we get them from our diet. EPA and DHA are not essential. Fish oil and algae oil do not contain essential fats. This is amazing. This is incredible knowledge that you should have because we've been spoon fed this marketing lie that EPA and DHA are, are the most important. They're not. They are important to our body, but our body can make its own. It can convert and not only do that, it can not only will and can convert very efficiently, but it does so in exactly the time and tissues and place and gender and, and age group and condition, health condition that your body needs because your body regulates that itself. Don't go in there and just bomb your body with EPA and DHA and preformed source because that's just disrupting the whole regulatory process. And the, then the body try to, to try to juggle the balls in the air and try to compensate for this again. There is no reason at all, no human nutritional requirement to take fish oil, EPA, or DHA in its preformed state. And look, again, don't take my word for it. I'm just a dude. <laughs> I'm a dude that really loves and is passionate about this. But look it up on the net. It's there. You type in the two essential fatty acids and the truth will show itself to you on Google no matter what. There are only two. And that's ALA from plants and LA omega-6 from plants. Animals don't make these. It is impossible. You do not get your omegas from <laughs> animals from fish or algae. You get them from plants, and this is the richest source of those essential fatty acids on the planet. Now you know. I, I really want to get this information out there because information is power. Once you know the truth, you stop falling for the marketing lies that are out there. That's what I want to do. I want to cut through the BS I want to tell you the truth about our physiology, what nutritional requirements we have, and where to get them from, and then go out and find the absolute best. I followed this research in this company even before they launched. I talked to them. That's why I was the very first into this. I was impressed by the research, the science. That's why it won the next day award for best supplement out of all of the supplements launched that entire year in 2016. This is amazing stuff. And when you know this, it's empowering. You have the right information. You're not going to fall for those marketing lies anymore. That's why I'm excited about doing what I do. Not just to sell dang products. That's not why I'm in it. You know, people are like, oh, you're just out to sell products. You're out to make money. No, I'm out to change this system. This system of people just peddling stuff because they're marketing. Instead of really understanding what's going on in the body, what's going on in nutrition, and what is going on in the plant kingdom. And then let's marry those things. Let's bring those things together and arm you with the truth so you stop falling for the lies. Yeah, I'm passionate about this. It gets me going because, you know, we all lived with the lies, the lies that essential, that proteins come from, from animals, and they don't, that, that omega-3s come from fish, and it doesn't. Um, fish do not make omega-3s. They do just like every other animal, including humans. They take outside forms of omegas and consume them, just like we do. So that's, that's all that we need to know is 
get your nutrients from the source. The essential fatty acids, all made by plants. The essential amino acids that make up proteins, all made by plants. Let's leave the animals out of this equation. We don't need to feed these essential fatty acids and essential amino acids to animals just to kill them, cause a whole bunch of pollution, a whole bunch of environmental degradation, suffering to the animal, and then cause ill health to us. That's a whole lot of negativity when we can get it right from the plants, get it right from the source in their essential forms and cut out all the animals, all that harm to the animals, all that suffering, all that degradation to our environment and all that Im negative impact on our own health. This is empowering when you know this information. You do not have to go down this path of believing your lies, following and consuming their products that you don't need causing you harm and ill health, going to a doctor, paying the doctor, going to the insurance company to have insurance, going to the pharmaceutical company to pay the pharma company, and then end up paying the, <laughs> the grave digger at the end. No, you don't have to spend all your money on those people. Just get the plant nutrients in you. You can live long, you can live fit, and you can live healthy and clean. That's what I want for you. And that's why I do what I do. And I love it. And I hope you can tell. And I hope you gained a lot of this information. If you do, please share. Please tell other people. We spread this information around. We spread the truth around. We can cut through this, empower people to make better choices for their own health, for the world that we live in, and for the animals that uh, are suffering in great numbers right now. Do the right thing. Do the right thing for you. Now you have the information. And again, don't trust me. I'm just a dude. Go out there and take what I've said, type it into Google and look it up yourself. You'll see the truth and the truth will set you free. Thanks for joining me on this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you do, please like, share, subscribe and tell other people about it. Um, also want to add one thing, green, green protein. The reason why I went with a whole food lentine, this is the whole plant in it because omega-3s when you isolate an omega-3, unless you put it immediately into a capsule with antioxidants to keep it from oxidizing, that isolated oil will oxidize. And oxidized oils or isolated oils can oxidize, can cause damaging effects to our body, especially our arteries. So what you want to look for is omega-3s in their whole food state. If you do choose flax and chia, remember to grind them both because chia and, and flax in their whole state give you zero omega-3s, only when you grind them. So all that chia pudding, you've just been having expensive poop, really, because you've got zero omega-3s out of it uh, in, in the things, unless you're chewing it really well with your teeth before you swallow. So grind those up if you need to. Use eye flour if that's your thing, but find the plant sources of omega-3. This happens to be the richest, which is why I went out there, because nobody was selling it. I wanted to give you the opportunity to have the best source of omega-3 essential fats in its ALA form and its SDA forms of any plant on the planet. Thank you for watching. I hope you tune in next week. We'll have guests on. We'll have great more information. I've got a really cool study how you can add three years to your lifespan. New study. I'll push that study up on the screen so you can read it for yourself and I'll share the information as always. If you have any questions, please contact us at info at Clean Machine Online. Uh, happy to help you. You can get this right here on uh, Amazon. We'll be launching soon our new pre workout. So stay tuned for that. We'll be available on Amazon as well, too. Thank you for joining us and have a healthy, happy day. Now you know.